in a failing accident. Well, at least that's what he believed. He was eager to have a family of his own and conserve all efforts in the now had failed. I wonder who that might be. We sold our last loaf of bread. It's the witch from next door. We you have, have no, no bread. bread. Of course you have no bread. What do you wish? It's not what I wish. It's what you wish. Now they're cooking in there now, is there? The old enchantress went on to tell the couple she placed a spell in their house. What spell? In the past, when you were no more than a babe, your father brought his young wife and you to this cottage. They were a handsome couple, but not handsome babies. You see, your mother was a child, and she had developed an unusual appetite. She took one look at my beautiful garden and told your father that what she wanted more than anything in the world was greens, greens, and nothing but greens. Parsley, heifers, cabbages, and celery, asparagus, and water, grass, and cucumbers, and lettuce. He said, all right. But it wasn't quite, because I caught it in the autumn in my garden one night. He was robbing me, breaking me, ripping through my rutabaga, breaking my arugula, and ripping off the brandy, and my champion, my favorite. I should have laid a spell on him right there. But it turned him into a stone. Or a dog, or a chair, or or a But I let him have a ramp and I lots to spare. In return, however, I said fair is fair. You can let me have the baby that your wife can bear. And we'll call it split. I had a brother? No, but you had a sister. But the witch refused to tell him any more about his sister. Not even that her name was Rapunzel. She went on. I thought I had been born and reasonable. That we all might live happily ever after. But how was I to know that your father had also hidden in his pocket? You see, when I had inherited that garden, my mother, she warned me that I would be severely punished if I were ever to lose.
You would be lucky to exchange her for a sack of beans. Well, I come along, Milky White. There are spirits here. <laughs> Sir, no less than five pounds. 
five pounds for my to get five pounds. She must be generous of milk to fetch five pounds. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and if you are not to fetch such a sum, what then? I hadn't thought of that. I suppose my mother and I will have no food to eat. This is the sum total. Beans, beans, beans. Oh, no, 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 no. We mustn't give up our beans. Well, if you feel we must, huh? beans will bring you food, son. Beans? In exchange for my cow? Oh, these are no ordinary beans. These beans carry magic. Magic? What kind of magic? So. Uh, magic that defies description. Well, my lord. You would be lucky to stand here for a sack of beans. How many beans? A six. A five. We mustn't give up all our beans. We must keep one for ourselves. Besides, I'd say they're worth a pound each at the very least. Could I buy my cow back someday? Well, um, you, um, well, possibly. Well, good luck there, young lad. Oh. 
Mine, that grandmother has a mighty snore. Odd. Where's the little one? Eating, no doubt. <laughs> or eating. Ha! Grandmother, indeed. And what is that red cloth in the corner of your mouth? It looks to be a piece of the... Oh, yes. I know. I will cut that cake from within your stomach. Oh! <laughs> what a fright! How dark and dank it was inside that room. Like. He's a 
very nice words. And, and, it's a very nice ball. And, and, when I enter, they trumpeted. No, the prince. Oh, the prince. Yes, the prince.
four pieces and I have here are five gold pieces. Five gold pieces? I had more, but my mother made me surrender. She allowed me these five to do with as I pleased. Oh my! Where is Milky White? Uh, Milky White is back home with my wife. Let's go find her. Uh, no, I don't know that I wish to sell. But you said I might buy my cow back. Well, I don't know that five gold pieces would be... Are you saying that you wish for money? Well, more money is always... Keep this. I will go get more. <laughs> Wait, I didn't say that! I mean... <laughs> oh, five gold pieces. With this money, I could buy baking supplies for an entire year. I could buy a new thatched roof or a, a new chimney. I but could you buy yourself a child? Who are you? When first I appear, I see the idiot. But when explained, I am nothing serious. Could you buy yourself a child? I don't understand. But how badly do you wish a child? Five gold pieces? Ten? Twenty? Well, I never thought to put a price on it. Uh, exactly. You've not thought of many things, have you? Son. Hey, give me that back. It's not yours. Nor is it that. The money's not what's important. What's important is your wish. The other. Oh, wait. Come back here. Oh, the cloak. What are you doing here now? I see you with the red cape. Yes, I have the red cape. Only two items left to locate. Three. Two. I have the cape and the cow. You have the cape. What'd you do with the cow? Oh, she ran away. I never made it home. I've been looking for her all night. I should have known better than to entrust her to you. Well, she might just as easily have run from you. But she didn't. 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 Who cares? The cow is gone. Get it back. We were just going to do that. Here, I can give you this. Don't give me that fool. I'm going to touch that. Have you no sense? Yes, quite gifted. Deliver the items before tomorrow's midnight, or you'll wish you never thought to have a child. I don't like that woman. <laughs> I'm sorry about the cow. And I shouldn't have yelled at you. <laughs> now please, go home. I will make things right, and then we can just go about our lives. No more hunting about the forest for strange objects. No more witches or dim-witted boys or hungry little girls. Go! <laughs> ah, there you are, good brother. Father and I had wondered where you had gone. I have been looking all night for her. Her? The beautiful one I danced the evening with. Where did she go? Disappeared, like the fine mornings. She was lovely. Oh, the loveliest. Uh, I'm not certain of that. I must confess, I too have found a lovely maiden. She lives here in the woods. In the woods? Yes, on the top of a tall tower that has no door or stairs. Where? Two leagues from here, due east, just beyond the mossy door. And how do you manage a visit? I stand beneath her tower, I say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. And then she lowers the longest, most beautiful head of hair, yellow as corn, which I climb to her. <laughs> Rapunzel? Rapunzel? What kind of a name is that? You just, I have never heard of such a thing. Well, I speak the truth. She's as true as your maiden, a maiden. Running from a prince. None would run from us. Yet, one has. Did I use her to show the disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony! Beyond power to speech, with the one thing you want is the only thing out of your reach. I her tower, she sits by the hour, maintaining her hair.
you know she would go with you if there only were doors. Yes, it's these slippers. They're not so pretty surrounding. 
be much good. <laughs> Was the ball just as wonderful as last evening? Oh, it's still a nice ball. And, and, we have far too much food. Oh, the prince. Oh, the prince. Yes, the prince. Oh, if we knew who I would have Oh, who? I'm afraid I was rude. Oh, how can I be pursued? And, and I'm not in the mood. Oh, they must really have taken a liking to you. I have no experiences with princes and castles and gowns.
don't want it. I was just admiring it. My granny made it for me from a wolf that attacked us, and I got to skin the animal. And best of all, she gave me this beautiful knife for protection. Well, look what I have. A hen that lays golden eggs. I don't believe that egg came from that hen. Where did you get that egg? I stole it from the kingdom of the giant. And if you think this is something, you should see the golden harp that the giant has. It plays the most beautiful tunes without having to touch it. <laughs> of course it does. Why don't you go up there and bring it back and show me? I could. You could not. I could. You could not, Mr. Liar. I am not a liar. I will get that harp. You will see. After having cast Rapunzel out to a remote desert, the witch returned to take the prince by surprise. And as he leapt from the tower, the thorns of which he fell pierced his eyes and blinded him. Uh, uh, no. No. As for Cinderella, she returned for her final visit to the festival.
life. I've done nothing. I'm the cow. Oh, I'm the slippery hound. Yes, I have. I will give the slippers, and tomorrow morning we shall search for the man who fixed this shoe. That is mine. I don't uh, care if this costs me my life. Just give her the slipper, and I will come to a happy end. How dare you take off and search without me? My apologies, sir. I thought that Enough might... of what you thought. I employed a ruse and had the entire staircase smeared with pitch. And there, when she ran down, lay the main slipper. Brilliant! I thought so. It did create quite a mess when the other guests fled. <laughs> and, sir, I have succeeded in obtaining the other slipper. <laughs> Just give her the slipper and all will come to a happy end. And who are you, old man? When first I appear, I seem dead at here. Shut up! You <laughs> are obviously a spirit of some sort, and we only need one. Yes.
do what you want. Let me expect a child. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Where, where are you? Where are you going? Child, we can be happy as we once were. 
alone. And she will not go with you. Let her speak for herself. You're the only family I know. Come with me. You and those beautiful babies. Please. Very well, you give me no choice. No, I 
giant in the land. Where did you see a giant? Well, I didn't exactly see him. Then how do you know there is a giant in the land? Our house was destroyed and there are footprints. That could have been caused by a number of things. I will show you the door. Wait! Please, princess. Um, a nearby home was visited upon by a giant not long ago, descending from a beanstalk. Yes, I remember. That giant was slain long ago. Now come along. Wait, wait, please. Princess, we have a young child. He was very difficult to come by. His safety is of the utmost importance to me. Are we entirely through now? Yes. Oh, thank you. I will take this news up with the prince when he returns. I want to sell the heart, Jack. Your mother, no. We might have heart around and there's a giant on the loose. But I don't want really to kill a giant. You do no such thing. Mother, if I could just help. You promise me you won't leave your surroundings. Mother, I'm a man now. Cinderella, 
she remains well. Does she? My brother, you tell what you're really doing here. I am a tower like those ones, but higher, a beauty a sleep. All around the tower, a thicket of briar, a hundred feet deep. Agony, no frustration or keen. With the one thing you want is a thing that you've not even seen. No, it's unbreakable. Inside, don't ask it. A maiden, alas, just as unbreakable. What unmistakable agony is the way always born. She has skin white as snow. Did you learn her name? No, there's a dwarf standing guard. If it were not for the thick, it's a thick, it's no trick, is it thick? It's the thickest, the quickest, is pick it apart with a stick. Yes, but even what brick, it's my thing about art. Well, it's sick. It's no sicker than your thing with dwarves. Dwarves, dwarves, dwarves are very upsetting. Not forgetting the tasks unachievable, mountains unscalable, if it's conceivable, but unavailable. Ah!
It's my job. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. 
in search of the giant? Yes. Have you seen the giant? No. I have. You have? Yes, sir. And why are you alone in the wood? Oh, well, my husband and I were... Well, it's a long story. And he would allow you to roam alone in the wood? Yes. It was my idea. You see, I'm in search of the lad. Your idea? Yes. How brave. Brave? Yes. Anything can happen in the woods, may I kiss you? Uh... Any moment we could be crushed. Stop the giant, just get out of these woods. 
did me. I dared you. You dared me too. She said that I was scared too. She dared me. So it's your fault. Wait a minute, you had dared too. And you would let the heart belong with me and trouble in the first place. You said she had dared me. You were crazy. You were crazy. It's your fault. You're responsible. Is that the truth? 
It's because of you that all of this has happened. I strayed into the garden to give your mother a gift. And I foolishly took some of those beans for myself. How was I to know? How were we ever to know? And when she died, I ran from my gift. Now, aren't you making the same mistake? No. Aren't you running away? No more questions, please. No more tests. Comes the day you say what for? Please, no more. We disappoint, we disappear, we die, but we don't. What? They disappoint and turn our fear. Forgive, no more riddles. No more jests. No more curses you can't undo. Left my father to never do. No more quests. No more feelings. Time. Shut the door, just no more. Right away, let's do it. Free from the ties that bind. No more despair or burdens to bend. Out there, in the yonder. Running away, don't you be Where did you have it in mind? Have to get help unless there's a fair you'll only be wondering blind. Just more questions. Different kind. Where are we to go? Why sit around this time? Trouble is sudden. The farther you run, the more you feel undefined. For what you have left undone. And more, what you left behind. We disappoint, we leave a mess, we die, but we don't. Disappoint, turn I guess, forget that we won't. Like father, like son.
who wouldn't leave his baby? It looked like he was going to. Give me my son. All right. We'll have to think of a plan before the giant returns. What? We'll all have to think. There were only some way we could surprise her. She's too tall to surprise. Oh, good friends! I'd like to meet you all down with them. What are you think? I don't care. All the better now is if you find a way to raise a child for my land. How can you help? You can do that? Oh, how can I ever thank you, bird? Oh, you can talk to birds? <laughs> the birds! They're going to help! How? When the giant returns, they'll peck out her eyes until she's blind. What good will that do? Well, then you can attack her, strike her, do whatever you do and kill a giant. She'll be blinded and just stab her about. She'll get angry. And crush us all. We'll smear them out of pitch. We'll lure her to an area of smear to pitch. Her shoes will stick and she won't be able to move. And I will climb a tree and strike her from behind. Yes, and I will be there too. It may take two mighty blows. Quickly, it's getting dark. We need to find some pitch. There's some granny. I know the direction. Follow me. Oh, wait. I'll lay it here with you. We'll be safe till we return. This will not take much time.
Jack, I'm afraid your mother's dead. Dead? Was she killed by the giant? She was arguing with the giant, trying to protect you. And then she was struck a deadly blow by the Christmas steward. No. Oh. Why would you do that? He was afraid she was provoking a giant. Can no one bring her back? No one. That steward will pay for this. After we slay the giant, I will slay him. You will do nothing of the kind. But he's just been killed by mother, right? Well, no. Then he must die. Well, no. Why not? Well, because that would be wrong. What he did was wrong. He should be punished. He will be somehow. How? I don't know. Please stop asking me questions that I can't answer. I'm going to kill him. Then kill him! Wait. No. Don't kill him. <laughs> Right there. So much to say. Who can say what's going on? Nothing's quite clear now. Nothing's quite clear now. You decide that you are not wrong.